Anyway, I think maybe I'm going to start every video from now on with a song that I'm, I've got in my head or something I'm loving, something I'm bumping, whatever. Should I? I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you about three free plugins that will save your mix. These are three plugins that happen to be free that in my opinion are ones that you just shouldn't, you shouldn't not have. These are my recommendations. Before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed and let's go. So here we have a little bit of an acapella from one of my songs. This is an unreleased song. Here's what it sounds like on its own. As you can hear, it has been compressed, it has been processed, but that's okay because it doesn't really matter what the bass sound is so long as you can hear the difference between this and what happens after I use one of these plugins. All you done this year is make me cry And now I gotta put things right Right Plugin number one, Expos OTT So this is a multiband compressor Now I gotta put things right Right All you done this year is make me cry And now I gotta put So you can really start to see how you can create a vocal which sits really well at the top of your mix. If you were to have a track and you wanted this vocal to sit, even as like a kind of vocal chop texture, um, this is such a good way to kind of take out all of the, the kind of meaty rumble that you don't want. And here's a tip for you as well, if you want to get even more out of a compressor like this, I would really recommend playing with automation. You can get some really cool sounds if you, for example, want to take this right down. Then over the course of a fill, bring it back up. Number two, this is Isotope's Vocal Doubler. This is a really fun one to play with because I just love the aesthetics of it. Right. All you done this year is make me cry and now I gotta put things right. right. All you done this year is make me cry and now I... Vocal Doubler, as I understand it, works in a really simple principle that you have each of these lines as three different voices. And you can see you have two kind of controls here one is separation and one is variation so separation is how how far apart those are in pitch and if you have slightly detuned instruments playing the same thing it will naturally sound thicker because your ear will be able to distinguish between each of the three different sounds the variation changes how different each of those three voices are from one another all you done this year is make me cry and now i gotta put things right Make me cry and now I got This plugin is really effective if you have a chorus and you really want the vocal to stand out but it just doesn't cut it on its own, then I'd really recommend this if you don't have time to record the vocal again or get the vocalist in again or whatever it is. And I also recommend, uh, unless you really like the effect of having it straight here at 100%, All you've done this year is make me cry and Do you dial it back a little bit so you have a lot of the original vocal coming through as well. All you done this year is make me cry and The last one I really want to show you today is Wider by Polyverse. Or is it Wider Polyverse by Infected Mushroom? I don't know. I use this one so much, I absolutely love it. I mean, it's it's pretty self-explanatory, really, but essentially it just broadens the sound, it makes it nice and fat. All you done this year is make me cry and now I gotta put things right, right. It's really good on backing vocals, it's really good on pads, um, it's good on bass as well if you want it to have that effect, it's just good on so many different things. And also if you combine that with vocal doubler as well, you can get a really really thick broad sounding voice which is cool so there you go those are my recommendations for three free plugins as of the time of recording this they are still free they've been free for a long time i'm pretty sure so it's not gonna change but if you want them the link is in the description so make sure you check that out let me know what you think of them and also if you have any other suggestions of other free plugins that i might not be aware of please let me know because I love a freebie. If you've made it to the end of this video and you've enjoyed it, please hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you next week.